philosophy behind all the slow motion scenes that we shot was let's shoot as much for real as possible because it's the beauty and the unexpected and the beauty and the unexpected is what you get when when a bullet go, goes through a water bottle or something it, it's you don't expect to see that shock wave Anthony Dobmantle, the DOP, um, he'd already done something similar on a previous film and he, was, he, he knew that he would have to shoot it in layers, which is also the way visual effects like to work. We like to work in layers. It means that if you're just trying to capture a, a small, like an instantaneous fraction of a second of something beautiful, you're never going to be able to do, do it for a whole scene because something in the foreground will look good and something in the background won't. So you have to shoot it in layers and then you can offset them all and get the best bits of everything. And then we could add CG afterwards, like in, into the space to make the stereo much more interesting. So we added lots of particulates in CG. We added um, CG blood flying around. And of course we had to do the set pieces that you can't do in real life, like blowing someone's jaw off. We had to do that in CG. But whenever we could, we would have, for instance, the guy who's being shot in the face, he, ha he has a squib in his mouth. So that's some real blood coming out of his mouth. It's real sweat coming off him. Um, we tried to get as much as possible for real and then basically embellish and finish it with, with CG. The other thing that came out of that was the look. The look had to be this thing that felt different from the rest of the film. Um, so it was not just the slow motion, but we had to, to make the colors incredibly saturated and beautiful. Um, and to do that, we didn't find any easy way of doing that digitally. We actually ended up um, almost separating out every single um, different object in the scene um, and regrading each of those things um, separately to make something that really felt different.